Did somebody say there's not enough list videos? Well, say no more. What's going on guys, Nate here, and Bethesda is best known for the Elder Scrolls and Fallout games, but over the years they've had many installments into both of those franchises, and even entire new franchise ideas scrapped, and today I wanted to show off some of the more interesting ones. So join me as we take a look at four Bethesda games that almost, but didn't quite happen. Starting off is a cancelled PSP spin-off to Oblivion, called The Elder Scrolls Travels Oblivion. I know, very creative. This was supposed to be set in the region of High Rock, and play off of The Elder Scrolls 4's storyline. It was also going to be remarkably linear in comparison to this franchise's trademark openness. Rather than get to explore all of High Rock, you'd essentially have a small, semi-open city that would act as a bridge between linear quests and missions. In the background is a bit of leaked gameplay from this project. It seemed visually up to date for an impending 2006-2007 release. Development was in cooperation between Bethesda Game Studios and an untested third-party developer known as Climax. Eventually, difficulties porting the game to a new engine and various technical issues left the pair abandoning the game before it ever came out. Number two is a game of ice and fire. See what I did there? Cause get, never mind. Back in 2011, Todd Howard confirmed that folks connected to the Song of Ice and Fire book series approached Bethesda and asked if they were interested in developing an open world game based off of George R.R. R. Martin's universe. Howard stated that Bethesda was quote, this close, I know you can't see the hand gesture here, to making a Game of Thrones based game. He even mentioned a meeting with people he called quote, George R.R. R. Martin's people. However, Bethesda eventually decided that they would prefer to create their own world instead, and thus went to work on The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, which would release in 2011, the same year HBO released the pilot to Game of Thrones. Ultimately, Telltale Games would end up developing a world in the Song of Ice and Fire universe, though it would be far from an open world. Number three is Fallout Resource Wars. Okay, admittedly this was more of Obsidian's jam rather than Bethesda Game Studios, but Joshua Sawyer, the lead designer of Fallout New Vegas, has pitched multiple times the idea for a Fallout spin-off game called Fallout Resource Wars. This game wouldn't take place in the already post-apocalyptic wastelands generated by nuclear war, but instead in the years leading up to it. The game was meant to be set in the 2050s, many years before the bombs fell, during a European Middle Eastern war, where the plot centralized around a crew of Royal Armored Corps soldiers stranded in a war-torn anarchist Italy and had to fight their way back to the English Channel. In this hypothetical game, Sawyer also wanted to include a heavily emphasized multiplayer mode that would play out as a combination of Battlefield, but with the pacing of Motocross Madness, heavily relying on vehicular combat. This game would have been a very far cry from the Fallout franchise we know today, and that's probably part of the reason why Bethesda never allowed Obsidian to really jump on this idea. And finally, number four is The Elder Scrolls Adventures Eye of Argonia. This was meant to be a sequel to The Elder Scrolls Adventures Redguard, and was well into production at the time of its final cancellation. Redguard was more of a Tomb Raider take on the Elder Scrolls franchise, and it came after the successes of Arena and Daggerfall. It created a less open world and stripped the game of most of its RPG elements. Good thing we never let that happen again. Immediately after Redguard's production was finished, The Elder Scrolls Adventures Eye of Argonia began its development. However, Redguard soon became a critical and commercial miss once it released, and development of Argonia was completely cancelled. Instead, Bethesda would shift their focus entirely on The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. We don't know much about this cancelled game, though as its name implies, it most likely would have taken us to the very foreign province of Argonia, or Black Marsh, an area we've never seen or explored, and probably won't for a very long time. And that about wraps up the list today of four Bethesda games that almost but didn't quite happen. Personally, I would have really liked to see Bethesda take on Game of Thrones. Maybe would have gotten to fight alongside Stannis the Manus, but I'll have to dream for now. Which of these look the best to you? Leave a comment down below. I hope you all enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Peace out, everybody.